looking at Yi Go. I could have swore he was here a second ago. Come on out, you little shit. I saw you sneaking out the camp. You've got some explaining to do to the captain. What are you hiding? I bet you found one of them priceless artifacts, didn't ya? And you was hiding it from the rest of us. Come on, pal. I just want to see it. Maybe we can make a deal. Mum's the word, pal. Just come out and we'll talk, eh? Oh, what was that? Ah, it's just one of them lizards. Come on, chum. I saw you take out a box out of that small cave. It's gotta be treasure, right? All right, pal. I see you're the greedy type. I'm only gonna say it once. Come out and I swear I won't tell the others about your treasure. Now, what do you say? Mother Mary, I don't think that's a lizard. Something moving in the trees. I can't tell where it's coming from. Yeah, I can't make up with it. Ah! Get away! Oh, oh! Damn it! Guns jammed. I hope the others heard the shot. Damn that pale traitor! I'll make him pay for this big time. <laughs> oh no, I got turned around. Come on, Norm, keep your wits about you. I think this way, bloody hell, that thing's right behind me. Where the hell is that cow? Oh, where are you guys? Didn't you hear the shots? Oh no. What in God's name? No! No! This is not happening! I'm a nightmare! Boys! Help me! Boris! Or Jack! Captain! Somebody! Ah! 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 What the freak? Was I dreaming or did you guys hear that? You weren't dreaming, Jim. We all heard it. What a blood-curdling scream. Should we check it out? It could be Ron. No, I saw Ron's chopper get away. I'm more worried about Dr. Becker and those researchers. Besides, it's gonna be impossible to know where the sound came from. That and our gear was on the chopper, so all we have is our sidearms. Not much to defend ourselves with. What about our jetpacks? We can do a quick aerial scan. No good. We have no guarantee that we'll see anything. And we're gonna need every bit of that fuel tomorrow to meet up with the dock. I suppose you're right. This ring doesn't look like it'll let up anytime soon. You guys grab some sleep. I'll take the first watch. I'll take second. Cool. Wake me up when it's my turn. I have to tell you though, this jungle, 
is giving up all kinds of bad juju. And I hope we don't meet up with whatever that guy outside ran into. That storm really did a number over this valley. It was good that you remembered where that old poacher's cave was. Oh, they're all over the place. Those guys kept us busy back in the day. In a way, I'm kind of glad the jungle is scaring the poachers away. Poachers are the least of our problems. That scream we heard last night just made our search for those German scientists more urgent. Okay, now according to this map, we're here. Our drop-off point is here, and we rendezvous with Dr. Becker right about here. We'll circle back to the river and recon this area where the scientists were last seen. This river should then take us near where we meet up with the doc. You guys got that? What about Ron? He was supposed to fly support for us. I think we'll be okay. If he made it back to the airbase, the smart thing to do is to wait for Eddie to arrive with the heavy equipment and meet up with us. You got it, Jim. And he's going to need help bringing all our gear and equipment to the base camp. All right, gang, let's get airborne. Keep your eyes peeled for those mercenaries. Our main priority is finding the scientists. But yell out if you spot trouble. Let's go. Up, up, and away, Kimosabe. guys disappeared. From where they started, it's evident that they knew where they were going, like they had the address to the place or something. This area was last surveyed back in 1917. Not many people have set foot in this part of the jungle since then, till these guys showed up. Yep, and I think they found the site, but never made it out past this area. That doesn't sound very good. Do you think they're still alive? I don't know. Either way, we need to find them. Whoa, heads up. Spotted something down to the right by the river. Is that who I think it is? What in the world is he doing? Oh, crap. Did you see that? Something's in the water. That crazy bastard. Stay still, my little rare beauty. The paper can write about this it would be priceless. Dr. Becker, I presume. Sir, that's a very dangerous thing what you're doing. I strongly insist that you get down from there immediately. Oh, nonsense. A very bear was a crocodile in the river. Even a large specimen can't breach high enough to reach me. John. I know. Hey, there are worse things in the river, Doc. Take our word for it. Oh, John. I'm almost done. Just one more shot. Booney. Oh, crap. Jim, I'm on it. What are you doing? Oh, no. Whatever you do, don't let go, Doc. All right, it's backing down. Absolutely remarkable. Did you see that? We did not know serpents can go to such sizes. Our experience has shown us that nature is never done revealing her secrets. Ah, huh, you can say that again. Oh, but there are my manners. You must be John Hickman. Yes, sir, and these are sick. Ah, yes. Miss Susan Lake, ex-CIA agent. And of course, Mr. Jim Cole, Marine Corps, and former ranger for the Zermalation Anti-Poaching Force. It's a pleasure. Are you injured anywhere, Doctor? That was quite a ride. But I'm all right, Miss Lake. All fingers are present and accounted for. It looks like you're also having car troubles. Ah, yes. 
I'm afraid my poor Land Rover was unable to survive Taman Nagara's unforgiving terrain. Alas, she is hopelessly stuck. You have a satellite radio. Mind if we make a phone call? By all means, Herr Hickman. Be my guest. Uh, early about the attack on your flight in from your command, the Rebel. I only wish I was able to warn you sooner. What do you mean, Dr. Becker? You knew about the attack. I knew that there are forces that will wish you harm, but had no knowledge of when they would strike. What forces? And why would they be interested in what we're doing? It's quite complicated and a bit of a mystery. Then my team was allowed by the Malaysian royal family to examine the Star of Guna. Our director was approached by an organization that offered to finance the expedition, providing they receive all data before handling it over to the Malaysians. Unbelievable. I staunchly objected to this and advised the director to reconsider, but the money was too irresistible. You mentioned an organization. Who were they? My team couldn't or wouldn't tell me. I shook the boat, and I believe our financiers wanted to eliminate me. You mean you were marked for death? How did you survive? I'm not 100% certain, but I think it was my best friend, the director himself. I believe he volunteered to do it himself instead of the assassin. Knowing David, he wanted to do it humanely and painless. He never was a good chemist. The food poisoning. Several weeks of pure misery in the hospital, but I survived. Now they're all missing. In a way, your director saved your life. This is AT-7 calling HQ-1. I repeat, this is AT-7 calling HQ-1. Do you copy? This is HQ-1. You are coming in loud and clear, AT-7. We're glad to hear from you, John. I'll patch you into command. Please stand by. I'll make a note of that, Dutch. Check that strange signal and find out where it originated. Copy that, Commander Morgan. AT-10 out. Commander Morgan, we made contact with AT-7. It's coming in from Dr. Becker's SATCOM radio. Thank God. Patch it in immediately. John, Bill Morgan. My God, man, we almost gave you up for lost. Is everyone all right? Are you with Becker? That's affirmative. We just met up with the doc. The team is okay, no injuries, but we haven't heard from Ron. The Birdman made it back safely. He's been standing by back at Butterworth Air Base. Ron and Eddie should be there in... Miss Sherburn, how far away is Eddie and Mr. Reynolds? Yes, sir. John, the Scarabs convoy should arrive at the designated drop-off point. ETA, three hours. I'll relay Dr. Becker's SATCOM frequency to them right away. Copy that, Ronnie. Thank you, darling. Booney, I don't have to remind you that we've got a real nasty bunch of bad guys in that jungle with you. More concerning is that we've got intel that an Axis agent is somehow operating in that area. Be very careful, and good luck. Copy that, HQ-1, AT-7, out. Axis agents, that's all we need. That explains the high-tech rockets that almost took us down. Well, we certainly have a lot to do. I suggest we head to your campsite. I don't have one of those wonderful jetpacks, so it looks like we will have to make multiple trips. The jetpacks can lift two men on short flights, so we can fly you to the drop-off point. Your vehicle is pretty much done for, 
so we'll just have to come back for the rest of your year. Okay, Adventure Team, daylight's burning. Let's get this done. On, On it, it, boss. boss. <laughs>